Hey guys, hope you're doing very well. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my chin filler situation. I did say in my video when I talked about the fact that I got chin filler, I would do an update after four weeks. It's actually dead on the day that I'm filming this, four weeks since I got it. And I was told that I would see like the final results within like four weeks. So for those that don't know, I'll do a quick, really quick recap. But if you wanna see the full in-depth information video about when i got the chin filler i will leave a link down below for that video if you want to see that but quick recap um literally four weeks today so i got it on the 25th of august it is now recording this the 22nd of september so i follow this girl on instagram that did a posted up a picture of a before and after of her filler and i was like oh my god who did this like this looks amazing and she linked who did it and it was a company brand what would you call it i don't know but it was this um instagram page called alien aesthetics and i was like oh my god that seems like my kind of thing i love alien stuff so i have an alien tattoo <laughs> so that just like it screamed to me and i looked through all their sort of before and afters on their profile on instagram and they did they do the most amazing job at everything they do like their before and afters just so good like i love what they do so much they do the most natural results of all time like, they do this um filler for your nose so if you want a nose job but you don't want to commit to getting a nose job like nose jobs are quite scary they can do filler in your nose to even out bumps or anything like that they obviously do lip filler chin no no what's this cheek filler cheek bone filler <laughs> um and they do jawline filler and chin filler i got the chin filler yeah so i booked an appointment with them um it might have been in, was it may i don't remember when i booked an appointment with them but it was a while back and i booked in for two meal of chin and jaw because i was going in there thinking that i'd get like just this whole bit done when i got to my appointment which was at femme fatal which is where i go for my black work tattoos so heidi fury does all of this and um she's done my neck as well so i've been there before i knew the studio love the studio it's a, just an amazing atmosphere so i felt really comfortable with the fact that it was there so yeah when the day come around obviously with covid and everything everything has to be like super sanitary sterile what have you had to wear masks and what have you katie who was the one that did my filler she was wearing a mask the whole time i was wearing a mask up until she had to inspect my chin and jaw and all that and she's like right what are you kind of looking for and i was like oh i really like like the chiseled jawline and stuff like that like i've always struggled in that department even when i was like really really skinny i didn't really have much of like a definition i love like that sharp jawline and just like chiseled look and i've always had like a just a, not a round face but like an oblong face like there wasn't much shape or definition to it and when i saw that you could get all this filler and stuff to change the shape of your face i was just like Oh, oh my god like i'm not shy when it comes to filler i've said in previous videos i'll say here again i've had my lips filled twice with one meal each time the first time was in june i think 2018 and the next time was november 2018 i find it's kind of in the same realm as body modifications because it's not it's not like surgery or anything like that to me surgery is when you go under and i don't have a problem with people go under for cosmetic surgery either like you do you boo it's your body if i had the guts i would probably do it but <laughs> especially for a boob job like i'm lacking here katie had a good old look at my face and she was like proper like staring at this side of my face this side front profile everything she was examining me trying to figure out like what would work better for my face shape which was amazing so professional i said this in my video about when i got the filler she you know wanted what was best for me and what would work for me it wasn't about like what i wanted so to say i mean she was still willing to do like the jaw filler she's like i can still do it for you and i was like no i'm gonna take your professional opinion at the end of the day she is the professional her opinion is a much more educated than mine right so she said um if we do just the chin for you and then it will elongate everything and it will still give you more of a chiseled look because it brings everything forward so the skin kind of stretches over your jaw so of like uh do you see that it's a bit more like whoop where before it was kind of just rounded <laughs> um so she did all that and um proper professional experience she was lovely she talked me through absolutely everything stuff i didn't even know because i had had lip fillers before but she was telling me stuff i didn't know which was amazing like she really educated me on everything when i got the actual chin filler it felt so fucking weird so weird it literally felt like my chin was like down here it felt like it was just going like this 
<laughs> I was like, ah, oh. it just felt really heavy and it felt like someone was sucking on my chin. Sounds strange, I know, but that's how it felt. The, the day of, my chin just felt very, very tight and achy. The day after, it felt heavy and just, yeah, achy. Like, I could talk. But it's it just like if it was so much effort to talk <laughs> but i was so lucky and i had absolutely no bruising and i bruise so easily like i can just look at a radiator and think i'm gonna walk into that and i'll have a bruise on my leg like that's how easy i bruise but i was so lucky i had absolutely no bruising at all so yeah the few days afterwards were just a bit tight a bit achy and i think after about the fourth or the fifth day everything felt fine and normal again it felt like my own chin and like touching it now like it's so i can't explain it but it just feels like my chin bone is that the right word i don't know like this bit here it just feels like it's my actual face like it doesn't feel like filler it's not squidgy it just feels hard like a normal chin would you know if you grabbed your own chin it feels like that the only thing that i've done a couple of times is accidentally knocked myself on my chin if i'm doing mascara i've done that as well because my chin's a little bit bigger at the front here so it kind of like sticks out a bit so if i do like a side profile but here it's a little bit bigger than normal so i've knocked it a couple of times because i'm obviously not used to it because i used to have a very very flat chin there was like no definition there at all it was just flat so i've knocked it a couple of times not it didn't hurt or anything i was just been like oh ah <laughs> like that's my chin <laughs> but that's the only difference um really and it has i've noticed it's given me a sh better shape like, like it's given me much better shape instead of being like around like this it's gone down a bit like that so it's giving me a, a different face shape and it's just elongated my face a bit more and i've always said that i had a potato face that was the reason why if you ever see someone say in the comments or in my facebook group or whatever um potato <laughs> or potato mom or potato anything right it's because in a live stream years ago i said i had a face the shape of a potato and it, it stuck so i've always said that i've had just like such a shapeless face and it's just giving me a bit more of a shape and i'm all for it i love it i dig it the swelling that i had again went down after about two weeks i've only just started to notice like it's it's a pointy hair in the past sort of week or so so yeah it does take a while for like the final shape to present itself like that but there i love it it's just like i love it it's so just oh, it's amazing what filler can do like and um yeah i've got nothing else to say really it all went very swimmingly and i just yeah wanted to update you guys and show you like what is happening but i think like when i, I definitely want botox like that I frowned so much. <laughs> it's mainly um, making reaction videos that make me frown. <laughs> but like, I'm getting all these lines here. I mean, you can't see it, but when I'm on my phone, oh my God, it's going off on a tangent. But you know when you're on your phone late at night, you're laying down and you're just looking at stuff and then you, you like lock the screen and you see your reflection. I see myself in the reflection and I'm, I'm doing this. You see these lines? <laughs> They're pretty extreme. And it's getting to the point now where like, once I finish frowning and I'm like, oh my god, I'm frowning. I have like these indents in my forehead. I'm like, oh, and then I'm just like patting. I'm like, no, please. Just trying to iron them out. So I think Botox, like subtle Botox will be something I want to do in the future for sure. And I'd love to get like Botox to raise my eyebrow a little bit because I've got hooded eyes and that's just like so annoying. But again, it's all subtle. Just like little tweaks as you get older. That's what I want to do. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to look older. So yeah, that, that's it really. Nothing else to say. Again, if you've got questions, comment down below. And um, let me know if you're a frowner. Do you have frown lines? <laughs> Do you catch yourself making the weirdest faces in your lock screen? Oh man, I'm just like, oh my god, what pissed me off so much? <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are all doing very well. Bye. Ooh.